Dear students, we are going to second week of human embryogenesis and now let's talk about early gastrulation. So, the process of formation of three embryonic layers, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm, it's called gastrulation. And gastrulation is a very important process, which is going on during second and third weeks of human embryogenesis. It includes formation of ectoderm and endoderm, outer and inner embryonic layers, here we can see ectoderm and endoderm, and then also it includes development formation of mesoderm. So we divide gastrulation into two stages. We divide it into early gastrulation and later gastrulation. Early gastrulation includes formation of ectoderm and endoderm. They develop first and then after development of outer and inner layer, there is a development of middle embryonic layer, mesoderm, which is called late gastrulation. Now we will talk mainly about early gastrulation. So, gastrulation of human embryo includes processes delamination, migration and invagination. So, let's look at this diagram. There are early gastrulation and late gastrulation. Early takes place during second week, day 7 till day 14. It's formation of bilayer embryo and extraembryonic organs. And late gastrulation is going on on the third week of embryogenesis, begin day 15. It includes formation of mesoderm, also formation of axial complex and body of embryo. Early gastrulation includes delamination and late gastrulation includes migration, invagination, as well as neurulation and somatization of the mesoderm which take part in the formation of axial organs. And result of early gastrulation is formation of bilayer embryo or embryonic disc. This embryo has ectoderm and endoderm, that's why it's bilayer, it has two layers. And result of late gastrulation is three-layered embryo. It has three layers, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm, which uh, develops as a result of late gastrulation. And also this embryo has axial complex and formed body. So let's begin from early gastrulation. And we already know that blastocyst, this stage of embryonic development, it has embryoblast and trophoblast. Trophoblast provides nutrition feeding of embryo, it will form chorion and placenta. And embryoblast will form embryo. Only these cells will participate in the formation of embryo. So what will happen next? Embryoblast is divided into two layers. Common cell mass without divisions into different layers. Uh, it's divided into two layers. Here we can see two separate layers. Epiblast and hypoblast. And this process is called delamination because embryo has lamina, lamina, its plate, and this common cell mass was divided into two layers. So we call this delamination its key process of the early gastrulation. So early gastrulation includes division of embryoblast into epiblast and hypoblast. And let's look once again. Embryoblast, this common cell mass, was divided into epiblast and hypoblast. And what will happen next? Those plates, they begin their growth. Those cells, they undergo divisions. And those plates, they are growing on their margins. Their peripheral zones are growing. Here we can see growth of the epiblast and hypoblast also is growing. But here we can see that they haven't enough place to be completely flat. And hence, margins of those plates, they become uh, to be flexed. They uh, form concave uh, structures, concave plates. And as a result of this, uh, embryoblast, which was divided into epiblast and hypoblast, it forms two vesicles or two sacs. Epiblast is, it continues its growth and it forms vesicle. It's enclosed on the epical side and it's called amniotic vesicle. And hypoblast also continues its growth 
and it forms another vesicle which is called yolk sac. So here we can see two vesicles which are attached to each other and they have two cavities. So epiblast forms amniotic vesicle and hypoblast it forms yolk sac. So, here we can see embryoblast, which has epiblast and hypoblast. Epiblast forms amniotic vesicle and hypoblast forms yolk sac. Here we can see amniotic vesicle and its yolk sac. It's result of early gastrulation. So, what are the parts of amniotic vesicle and yolk sac? Amniotic vesicle, it includes ectoderm. It forms ectoderm, which includes embryonic ectoderm, which is attached to the yolk sac and extra embryonic ectoderm. So top of the amniotic vesicle it's extra embryonic ectoderm and bottom of the amniotic vesicle it's embryonic ectoderm. So note that amniotic vesicle has embryonic and extra embryonic parts. It forms ectoderm. And yolk sac it also has embryonic and extra embryonic parts, but it forms endoderm. So yolk sac it forms embryonic endoderm, which is attached to the embryonic ectoderm, and extra embryonic endoderm, which forms bottom of the yolk sac. So bottom of the yolk sac is its extra embryonic endoderm, and also there is embryonic endoderm. And place of their attachment where embryonic ectoderm is attached to the embryonic endoderm is called embryonic disc. Here we can see embryonic disc. So it's B-layer embryo. Only this part of embryo will participate in the formation of body of embryo. Only this will be a human. And also this there is extra embryonic ectoderm and extra embryonic endoderm. But embryonic disc it includes only embryonic ectoderm and embryonic endoderm, which form two layered embryonic disc. So embryoblast it forms epiblast and hypoblast. Epiblast forms amniotic vesicle which has embryonic ectoderm and extra embryonic ectoderm and yolk sac also has embryonic endoderm and extra embryonic endoderm. And place of the attachment is called embryonic disc. And embryonic disc includes embryonic ectoderm or simply ectoderm and embryonic endoderm or simply endoderm. It's result of early gastrulation. And here we can see amniotic vesicle and yolk sac and place where they are attached to each other. It's called embryonic disc. And only this embryonic disc will form body of embryo. So it will be human in future, only this part. So it's result of early gastrulation, development of bilayer embryo, embryonic disc. And in the next part of this video we will talk about development of mesoderm, about late gastrulation. Thank you for your attention.